It's said that when people really need to pee, they tend to start dancing. Apparently, moving around helps relieve some of the pressure on the bladder. To find out if that's true, Kelly and her two friends decided to put it to the test. First, they needed a baseline. All three participants emptied their bladders completely, then each drank 1.25 liters of water. They went about their normal activities until they couldn't hold it anymore and had to go to the bathroom. In the end, Kelly managed to hold it for nearly three hours, while both of the guys gave in under two hours. With that baseline established, they moved on to the next phase. The next day, under the same starting conditions, each drank one liter of water. But this time, once the urge to pee kicked in, they began dancing, trying to use movement to distract from the bladder pressure. Tori was the first to give up, lasting only an hour and a half. The other two hung on longer. In the end, once again, Kelly outlasted them all. The guys felt like all that movement only made things worse, but Kelly still came out on top just like in the first round. In the third test, after drinking water, they had to stay completely still. They entered a state of calm, meditation, and physical relaxation, trying to use a peaceful mindset to suppress bodily urges. They found that staying still actually did help help ease the bladder pressure. But no matter how calm he tried to be, Tori was the first to cave again, though he did show slight improvement compared to earlier tests. However, the other guy showed major improvement, lasting nearly three hours. And once again, Kelly maintained her usual top performance. The conclusion? Everyone's body responds differently, and the best method might just depend on the person. 